Hey, hello to everyone out there watching today. We are so happy to be here at CMBA's Mortgage Innovators Conference, at least virtually. I'm Marianne Amer, Senior Vice President of Marketing for Loan Logics, and I'm going to be joined today by David Butler, who is our Director of Product Initiatives. To get it started, let me tell you a little bit about Loan Logics. We are a RegTech SaaS provider of document processing, quality control, and acquisition due diligence uh, technology and services. Our latest innovation that David will be demonstrating today is Loan Logics Idea on Demand. It is a real-time, in-line document processing digital assistant. This and all of our other technologies and services really help clients to what we like to say automate first, to improve quality, lower costs, and control risk when manufacturing, buying or selling loan assets. We leverage the latest methodologies in cloud computing and machine learning technology to deliver greater value to our clients. Today, a persistent industry challenge is manual document processing. Well-paid loan officers and processors get backed up managing the whole process and dealing with their pipeline. Delays can even degrade the borrower experience. It can slow down the workflow as the loan moves through underwriting, extend days to close, and maybe even cause lock extensions that uh, impact margins. Finally, manual workflows are error prone, resulting in loan quality issues that may have a downstream impact on decisioning and even loan saleability. So what we like to say, enter Loan Logic's idea on demand. Now, David will be giving a demonstration of the product, but first, a little promotional commercial message. Welcome. My name is David Butler. I am the Director of Product Initiatives here at Loan Logics. And today I'll be showing you our latest and greatest of doc processing technologies, Loan Logics Idea on Demand. So to get started, I will say this is a highly cloud native solution. So everything that you see today is available in the cloud, is where we keep everything highly available, highly scalable, highly secure as well as it enables us to have rapid development cycles. So as we get started here, you're gonna notice this is a pretty slick and new user interface that we've developed here. And it is really taking and allowing for minimal ramp time with our new clients. So I've had some clients as, in as little as 30 minutes up and running on this platform. So let's get started. First thing we're gonna do, is we're going to upload a document and this particular particular document has a phone estimate a closing disclosure and a note so we'll go ahead and upload that and the first thing you're going to notice is it is loaded into our idea on demand database it is pushed out to all of our machine learning and ai technologies that's doing the indexing and the data extraction behind the scenes but while that loan's processing, let's go ahead and hop into this loan with the exception on the indexing side. So an exception, we associate a confidence threshold to every document that we index as well as every data element that we data extract. So in this case, we do have a diploma that came back. And if I upload it and take a look at this, it's actually coming through. It looks as if this, even though it's blurry and like blacked out, does look like an identification or a driver's license. So what we can do is go ahead and highlight those pages and move that into the appropriate doc type bucket. So in this case, we have an ID. So as I start typing ID, you're going to notice the list filters as I type letters. And it's filtering a list of over 480 individual unique doc types that we currently recognize today. So this is a, an identification or an ID. So we'll go ahead and confirm that. And the first thing it's going to do is say, hey, you have a diploma bucket on this loan, but there's nothing in it. So we're going to delete it and we're going to confirm that that's okay. 
And you'll notice now we have just the ID with no more exceptions, so we can go ahead and submit that loan for data extraction. And if we take a look, here's our loan that we uploaded earlier at the beginning of this process. And you'll notice it has 26 exceptions on it. And you're probably thinking, wow, 26 exceptions, that's a lot. So what we, if you think about the 480 unique documents that we identify, and of those, we extract over 8,000 individual data elements off of those 480 documents. So the loan estimate, the note, and the closing disclosure, we extract over 1,100 data elements. In fact, it's actually 1,145. And when you put that in perspective with 26 exceptions, it's really like a 2% exception rate. And then if I, you notice again, anything with a low confidence threshold over here to the right actually does come back. And, but don't get too discouraged by that because not only could you cut down the number of exceptions from 26, by just simply dialing in the confidence score. Because it's configurable by you, you can actually say, hey, the form number doesn't really affect my ability to deliver the package to my investor or to purchase a loan from a correspondent perspective. I'm gonna go ahead and dial that back and I don't ever want a user to have to clear an exception for the form number on the note. And that's perfectly acceptable. On the other hand, if you look at the loan amount, which is probably the most important piece of data element, on the on this particular document or in the file for that matter is the loan amount right so in this case if you want to say that i want it to be at least 98 percent accurate in order for it to go automatically through but if it's less than that i want eyes on that somebody actually validating that that data is correct and because we're looking for keywords here and not actual co specified coordinates on a document this enables us to be completely flexible. We don't have to retrain all of our documents every year. So for example, if you think about the 1040 tax return, 2017, 2018, 2019, they're all completely different looking fields and fields are all in different places. But because we're looking for keywords and not key predefined coordinates, we're able to still maintain our high level of uh, data extraction because of that. If you'd like a, to try this product, please feel free to swing by the booth at this event and ask more about our try before you buy process.